So, since nobody else is going to do it, Uncle Sly is going to have a talk with Flat Earthers about the birds and the bees. Flat Earthers claim that gravity needs to be so strong to hold down the massive oceans, but birds and bees can counter gravity with ease. It's also number 32 in the book of Dubai. First you have to understand the three objects that we're dealing with. We'll use a hummingbird, which between its largest and smallest size is an average of about 12 grams. A honeybee, which is only about 100 milligrams. And the water molecule. But in grams, well, I'm not going to say exactly what the weight is, but let's just say there's a whole lot of zeros behind the decimal point. In fact, in a drop of water, there is 6 times 10 to the 23rd power of molecules per drop. So, <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much guess how light it is. Flat earthers commonly want you to believe that the bigger something is, the more gravitational force is required to hold it down. The joke is, that's simply just not true. The more dense something is, yes, I said dense, the more molecules it has for gravity to pull down on. This cumulative pull is measured as something's weight. And since gravity pulls towards the center of the Earth, or the center of a mass, this is why something moving towards the center of the Earth appears to weigh less. So what does this all mean? Well, that's quite simple. Birds and bees have to work quite hard to generate enough friction against the air to lift themselves against the force of gravity. Why? Because of the fact that they are actually a mass of molecules grouped together and connected. Water, by comparison, is not. Water is a collection of free-moving molecules, each molecule being independent of each other. Basically, water is nothing more than a condensed gas, not a single mass. Similar to a swarm of bees. You can have a hundred bees, all moving together, but they do not create a single heavier mass. What is the relevance to gravity? Simple. An ocean is not a thing. A body of water is not a thing. So in itself, an ocean does not have a combined weight, which gravity has to be strong enough to hold down compared to birds and bees. Ironically, <laughs> if your argument was actually placed backwards, it would actually make more sense but would still be explained in the same way. And the last little bit about water, if you don't believe that it's individual molecules, all you need is a little bit of heat, and those individual molecules will fly free of the other ones and roam around almost effortlessly in the air. Clouds, humidity, steam, and water vapor are the most common versions of this. So basically, the birds and the bees are heavier than the oceans as far as gravity is concerned. Y'all have a nice day.